Let's take a look at the profile van Doe and my builds. So let's take a look at his stats. Attack speed is 1.00, so that's pretty good. Uh, critical chance is 14%, critical multiplier is 2.0, and the status is 32.0%. So um, looking at the status, it's very, very, looking very good. Um, critical multiplier is decent. Critical chance is a um, little bit decent, but um, not, not so very good. Um, looking at the base damage, we have impact is 80.0, and then electricity, it's own elemental, it's own elemental, uh, 118.0, so total 198 damage. Um, yeah, this weapon is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, looking at the critical chance, not very much. Um, Red Curse is going to be in there, but I can definitely tell you that this is still a good weapon. Now, do I prefer this machete? No. I will probably prefer the Machete Wraith. Let's take a look at that. So status is 33%. Uh, the critical chance is higher on the Machete Wraith. Critical multiplier is higher on the Machete Wraith. Uh, it doesn't have electricity damage. So it, uh, the electricity damage is not that bad. But I probably wouldn't want that in there because it gets in the way a little bit. But it actually does pretty well. Um, yeah, so I definitely would prefer the Machete Wraith than the Prova Vendo, but like I said, still, the Prova Vendo is still a good weapon, so I would definitely, um, get that weapon. But without further ado, let's jump right into the builds. Here's my first build. This is my setup, and this is the stance mod that I'm using. Now, um, they do say that the Cyclone Kraken, which is on the bottom right here, is the better stance mod because it has brutal strikes and it does deadly um, combos, attacks, and everything. But no, it does not work for this weapon. Honestly, I rather prefer the Sundering Weave. Now this has really, really focused strikes and damages, and it really does heavy attacks when you look at it. So I will show you how it does. You know, really good with this weapon. But I prefer this one because it like has heavier strikes on the um this weapon. So definitely uh use this. So this is a corrosive build. I'm gonna test it on level 150 corrupted heavy gunners. As you can see, the orange crits are getting in there. And it's doing really good attacks in there. This is probably one of the most um, biggest uh, heavy attacks in the game. Well, with this mod, I would say. Not only that, but the electricity damage is in there. And it's honestly like doing pretty much like slash damage. You know, shocking them, but doing very good, uh, good damage. And he's out. Gee. Um, so that was a good corrosive build. Now let's look at the uh, viral build. So I have prime pressure point, sacrificial steel, 220%. Critical chance, yeah, prime pressure point, you already know, 165% melee damage. I have north wind, 90% cold uh, organ shatter, 90% critical damage, condition overload, 120% melee damage per status type affecting the target. This is why I have this on here because of the electricity damage. Now it's not doing, if I didn't have this on here, it would not be doing so much damage and it would just make, you know, kill them slower. But since I have this on here, it's doing, it's going to be doing a lot more damage, especially with the sacrifice steel, organ shatter and blood rush. Just for that extra, you know, that uh, orange crits in there.
There we go. So you see the imp and the um improvement. Took him out very very quickly. So not bad. That electricity damage does really good, especially with that uh condition overload mod on. It really really took him out. So now we're gonna test it on uh, Corpus. So that did really amazing. Now I'm going to show you guys my last build. And this is a gas build. Of course, this is only works on um, Corpus. Corpus only. So I have Prime Reach in there now. The plus three range. And I have Prime Fever Strike. to extra 165% toxin. I have Molten Impact, which does 90% heat. But for that, makes gas. And yeah, that's really it. Same old mods on there. It's doing very, very good. That did very, very good. Really, really good. So if you guys enjoyed these three builds, make sure you comment down below. If you didn't, please don't. Well, that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, make sure you follow me on all the social medias down in the description below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, guys. I want to hear your feedback on these videos. Let me know I'm doing the, let, let me know I'm doing these videos. Let me know what you want to see in the next video or future video discussions. Or you guys can always DM me. You know I'm here for you guys. You know I love y'all. So make sure you do that. Uh, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button if you really enjoyed the video. And make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're on the road to 300, guys, so please subscribe for me. I will not um, let you down. I will bring you these good builds. Whatever you guys want, please let me know what you want to see in the next videos. I will make it for you guys because you know I love you guys and I love what I do. So please, make sure you uh, DM me whatever you guys want. Follow me on Instagram. Um, but that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.